With so many different fine art papers available on the market today, you can see why paper choice can be quite confusing. But different papers can offer a unique way of expressing ourselves in our fine art prints. I'm going to talk you through three of the papers that I use for my own photography and why I choose these papers. The first one of these papers is Epson Premium Luster. I've long printed on luster paper and I love it for my landscape work and most of these big prints I've got up in the gallery in the past have been printed on luster paper. Luster paper offers a really high D-max for really deep blacks and also a wide gamut for nice saturated colours so it's very well suited to landscape work. The semi-gloss finish on it doesn't reflect like a full gloss so it's very well suited for framing behind glass. Another one of my favourite Epson signature worthy papers is Hot Press Natural and I picked it for this photograph because the smooth surface of the hot press paper renders the detail in the landscape very well without adding any of that extra texture of a more textured fine art paper. And also, the warm tones of the natural paper, as it's got no OBAs in it, really help render these lovely warm tones that are found in this image. And I really love this as a paper for landscape photography. For this long exposure image over Mount Taranaki, I decided to print this on Epson Cold Press Bright. The cold press fine art papers have a texture to them, which I think really adds something to this slightly abstract image of Mount Taranaki. And that texture looks beautiful in these lovely transitions across the water. With OBAs in it, it's got a very bright white, and this really helps to bring out the bright tones in the front of the water here. If you're wanting to experiment with different paper types, a really good thing to do can be get a sample pack like this and print one image on a real mixture of different papers. You can then compare the different images side by side and see what paper works best for your photography.